Alright guys, tonight we're going to be uh, looking at how to install the Willwood brake, clutch, and throttle assembly on uh, 68 uh, Volksrod here. Um, this is the Willwood uh, assembly that I got. Um, part number right there. Um, looks like a pretty good assembly. Um, we can open this up. It comes with a balance bar, so you can have uh, front brakes and rear brakes uh, balanced uh, a little bit differently uh, than each other. So instead of just putting them both even, you can adjust it to where one's going to put pressure on uh, the master cylinder before the other. Um, so this setup will allow you to put two master cylinders on for the brakes and then. Um, also a hydraulic clutch assembly, which um, I have here. So, got the Wheelwood hydraulic clutch assembly. Uh, I gotta mount that to the transmission and then uh, plumb the lines to it. I also got a uh, Wheelwood proportioning valve. And what this will allow you to do is change, it's very similar to this balance bar, but it's uh, more on the hydraulic side than just um, adjustment on where the pedal hits the um, master cylinder first. So this will allow you to um, plumb it in so you got the fronts, the rear, both of those are in, and then you have the front out. Uh, left and right there and then you have the rear out what this does is allows you to adjust the rear um, balance so you could have the fronts um, break before the rear so the rear doesn't want to uh, slide out on you so we'll go ahead and uh, get that installed in the vehicle as well this system comes with a brake light which is really cool um, so I found all these on Amazon. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the vehicle and see how we're going to mount this assembly. So, with the VW assembly, the throttle cable is a little bit different than most. Okay. So, we got to figure out how to get this guy being able to pull on the throttle cable okay and I'll go ahead and show you how the throttle cable sorry about the loud noise guys I'll go ahead and show you how the throttle cable works on the VW um, so what it basically is is a small roller pedal that the wire will hook to and as you push the flat pedal it rolls the, the roller pedal back Okay, and it's not actually hooked up to the engine because the uh, carburetor will have the spring to return it back. Um, so what I'm looking at doing is, I'm thinking I can either hard line, sorry guys, hard line from one of these holes to, let me find that roller pedal I had. Here it is. To this hole on the roller pedal, and that's where the throttle cable would usually go. Or excuse me. Um, to this on the roller pedal, the throttle cable will go in that bottom hole, and then if I hard line to it, I'm thinking it'll just push the roller pedal. I don't know. Or I could have this roller pedal machine. Machine to where there's a lip on on both sides that will fit nicely right there. So then now this becomes uh, the roller side, and the ball the excuse me the roller pedal will actually roll on the back side of this uh, throttle uh, foot pedal. So um. 
I guess the first step is to uh, remove the stock system and see what I have to work with. Um, I'm hoping I can just remove this whole assembly here, get rid of the, the brake and the clutch, get rid of the floor mount um, throttle, and then what I'm left with is that roller assembly. I'm hoping that's what uh, I can uh, work with. If not, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount this throttle cable. To start, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts holding the pedal assembly to your frame horn. Afterwards, you're gonna remove the plunger off of the brake pedal that goes to your master cylinder. Now, with a 13 millimeter socket, you can remove your master cylinder from the body. All right, so in order to get this uh, assembly apart, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench here. Um, you're gonna need a screwdriver just to push this pin through. We're gonna use that same spot to put the roller in. Okay, uh, so we'll push the pin through it. Basically, we'll just fall right out. Take that out, and then all this stuff will be able to basically pull out off of this assembly here. But this can come out this way, and then these two pieces will come out this way. Uh, as far as the throttle, um, generally you would take. Let's see if I can show you this. This pin right here. Generally, you would take that pin out. I am not going to use this throttle assembly, uh, so I'll probably wind up cutting it off, clean it up to, uh, real nice on um, both sides so it looks uh, looks like it's supposed to be uh, just a smaller bracket holding this uh, pedal on. So let's go ahead and... Uh, So what you need is some sort of uh, spreader device. This one will actually spread it open. If you flip it the other way, it'll actually pull things closed, okay? In this case, I need it to spread open. So we'll go ahead and get it in here. Let's see if I can get in this, the two holes that they have. So usually, I don't know if you can see that, there's two holes in there. That's where you're gonna put your clip in and just spread it. Okay, so at this point you can pull the other pedal off. Okay, you don't need the spring. Um, this shaft, uh, because I ground it down, it's gonna be a little difficult to get out. So I'm gonna have to tap it out. wasn't too bad. So go and pull that out. Um, this should be able to come off. If not, just lop it off just like the other parts. Um, I'm thinking it's just pressed in there. Definitely not pressed in there. Not a big deal. I could live with leaving that on there. What I want to do now is cut this off here and pull this pedal off. Pedal's really simple. This thing is actually pressed against the body. So all you need to do is get a screwdriver, 
push that pin through and it falls out. Look at that. That's done. Um, put the new roller pedal on, same, same deal. Just the complete opposite. There you go. Okay, now this roller pedal is a little loose compared to the stock one. And there's a reason for that because it's the stock one is about twice as thick as the, the new one. Not a big deal. What I'm going to do is just get a couple of washers, slide them in as I slide this in to keep it from, from spinning all over the place. So let's go ahead and get this thing cut off and I'll get the correct washers for that. So got this thing lopped off, got the three pedals off, or all three pedals off. The uh, clutch uh, bracket is off. Actually, that thing looks pretty worn. It's gonna need to be replaced pretty soon here anyways. Um, spring, this little wheel, all that stuff is uh, gonna be garbage. And like I said before, we'll get this thing in here with some new washers, but before I do that, I wanna clean this up smooth this out yeah so it looks a little cleaner than just rough cuts okay once that's done then uh get this thing in here and bolt it back in the car of course i'm going to take the wheel off because i'm going to actually put a bracket from here to the new wheel wood uh, thro uh, throttle pedal. so let's go ahead and uh, get the correct washers for this and see what we can do so this is what i came up with uh for the throttle. Um, let's start with this piece here. This piece was attached to the uh, center rail of the frame. Okay. Coming off of here, you had the clutch cable attached. And then right here, you would have the throttle table, uh, cable attached on the, uh, the little bit smaller wheel that came with it. This one had a roller pedal on it. Because uh, originally I was going to go with that, and then I decided to go with um, new pedals all the way across, hydraulic clutch and all that. So, anyways, I was able to repurpose this lever, and uh, it was attached up here. I drilled two more holes just so I can get a kind of an idea of where I want to install it, and then I'll probably cut this off and uh, reshape it so it doesn't have all this extra. But anyways, let's continue on here. Um... Back here, we had um, the brake pedal was attached, came off, had the brake pedal, and then you also had the clutch pedal off the other side. All that was removed. I ground this down to make it look clean, so it's a smaller bracket. Um, so anyways, I put shims in there to tighten this up so it wasn't uh, shaking back and forth. So the idea here is when you push on the Willwood throttle, it pushes the old throttle linkage back and pulls it. Now, I know what you guys are saying, why did I do this? Well, I couldn't attach the throttle linkage up here without coming through the frame and redrilling a new hole and putting the throttle up front. I figured it'd be easier just to use everything that was there and attach it here and then have a tie rod that go through the middle. The reason for that is because uh, currently I don't have it, but I will be getting them in. Um, the master cylinders go on back here and I believe they're about four to six inches long. So once they're attached, they'll be sticking out here. So I'll have to adjust this where it'll uh, fit properly in the car. And then of course, tie these things or excuse me, shorten those up so I can get the proper linkage uh, throw here. So, anyways, that's the idea. I know it's a little hard to show unless it's in the car, but it is operating pretty smooth. Okay, so we'll get a new cable in the car and get all this attached to the ground and uh, continue on. All right, so uh, we're going to be installing the hydraulic clutch assembly today. Um, 
basically what's involved with that is you'll need a master cylinder of course you'll need your new clutch pedal that allows a master cylinder um you're gonna need to take the clutch cable out like we were talking about before and then in the back you have this rubber boot that goes over the clutch cable okay you're gonna need to remove it from this fitting right here okay right there and you're gonna need to remove the clutch cable off of this uh, fork so once you have those removed you can go ahead and slide the new hydraulic cylinder into the hole that's here and into the fork that's up here okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish getting this thing removed it's a little tough once you have the cable out it's not so bad but uh, it feels like you're gonna break something you have to bend that almost in a U to pull it off of that far hole over there I don't know if you can see that or not um, see if I can get some more light on there so that hole right about there um, it's got to get pulled off of there um, And then it's a little tight in there as well, so you have to work it out with a, a flathead screwdriver on the back side. So we're going to go ahead and get that removed right now. See it kind of moving a little bit. There we go. Screwdriver should be small at the moment, but let me see if I can go ahead and grab a hold of it and just uh, tug. So I need to get a bigger pry bar on that. But you can see it moved almost three eighths of an inch. All right, so I got it uh, in place. Uh, mount it on that uh, bracket down at the bottom there Okay, and then at the top I have it mounted as well. I just need to put a nut on the top and do the adjustment I left it to where the bleeder valves down below and the uh, uh, Hose fitting is on the top um, I Don't know which way is best um, I know on the brake fittings they have it the opposite direction where the bleeders on top and the brake fittings on the bottom but that's just uh, how it fit as far as uh, able to plummet I might be able to switch those two I think I might do that just so when it's bleeding it allows the air to come off the top not the bottom um, so I think I actually will do that um, so let's uh Get to the next part of installing these wheel wood uh, brake systems so I got the pedals in position kind of where I thought they should be I mocked it up put my seat in and um, after putting them in I realized it's just too cramped in the car so um, I was hoping I didn't have to do this but what I'm gonna have to do is move this whole assembly here towards the front of the car and I'm about an inch and a half away from the wall um, right now so that being said I can't move it any closer or excuse me any further forward than what I have right now so I need to get a shorter rod on this to allow my uh, throttle to move back as well so what I'm gonna have to do is cut a uh, hole into the wall to allow these guys to stick through to the front now I'm gonna have to seal that up so my solution uh, well you can do a couple things you can get a box uh, bent up made for it but my solution is I already have this uh, box here I'm gonna go ahead and just take the hinge off for the lid take these uh, latches off take this bracket off and what I'll do is uh, cut the hole to the size of this guy lift it up about probably an inch off the ground okay now 
Yeah, those of you that are familiar with uh, Volkswagens, you got the floor pan and then you have the body of the car that's bolted to the floor pan. If you can see right along there, there's actually a gasket. Um, so if I were to take this and just cut a hole and weld it to the top part and the bottom part, we'll no longer be able to remove the body. Now, probably not a big deal because I'll probably never remove the body, um, but in the future if I ever wanted to or whoever I sell it to uh, down the line, they should be able to move the, remove the body. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it to the floor, okay, um, and the, ch the channel, excuse me, the uh, center uh, hump, okay, and uh, the top section I'm going to put a gasket on, try to get it as tight as possible, if I can't get it that tight, then what I'll wind up doing is getting a thicker gasket or caulking it or something, but I'll probably wind up um, doing a little bit of both. Um, put a thick gasket in there and cock the gasket down to weather seal it. So, go, moving up to the front. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. So this box is pretty much... It'll be tight fit, but it will fit in this hole here. I don't really have very good lighting, right? All right, guys. So that box will basically come out into this section here, maybe three inches, um, maybe even less, because th this body panel is roughly about an inch and a half thick, and that that box about four inches, so it's going to be two and a half inches so that's perfect because it won't be in line or won't affect my uh, brake assembly over here I don't know if you can see that down there there it is so that bracket basically I think it's about three inches off of the the body there um, so anyways it's going to allow my pedals to move forward um, and it'll be still be watertight. So that's my plan with that. Um, stay, 